Kevin. Hey. John Bon Jovi has Who? completely lost his voice. Wow. It's no secret that we witnessed the rise and fall of a singer that has captivated millions of people, and it's now come out that he's had a very risky surgery. Oh, no. Do you think he's going to be able to sing ever again? I hope not. And we find out today how it went. <laughs> oh, man. And wait, wait, wait. <laughs> we have the exclusive from the doctor's office. And there's more. Whoa. Huge announcement about Richie Sambora Who? coming back <laughs> to Bon Jovi. And a guitar tutorial that you've been working on very hard. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Here on Real Brave Live. What band has 15 studio albums, five compilations, three live albums? They've sold more than 120 million records worldwide, making them one of the best-selling American rock bands of all time. It's not Fish, because Fish's stats blow that out of the water. That's not true. It is Bon Jovi, <laughs> Brian's favorite band. Brian, congratulations. They've hey, made it. congratulations, Brian. In 2003, I think, my then-girlfriend, now-wife, was going to see Bon Jovi, and I almost bought a ticket just to refute the statement that he'd seen a million faces and rocked them all. I was going to stand there like this the whole time. <laughs> That's and the, refuse to that, get rocked by see, Bon Jovi. You're the typical, like... You know, angry musician who that's you think that that's the funniest joke in the world. I, I think mean, it's pretty funny. <laughs> Kevin gets me, right? I like that. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Good joke. So I'll do it. He claims to have rocked every face. That's he rocked them all. Dead or alive. Yeah, I've yeah. seen a million faces and I've rocked them all. Yeah. yeah. So if you're just tuning in, we are going to do a tutorial of uh, how to play the beginning of um, Dead or Alive. Yeah. Which you think is a video game? Uh, the, I, I mean, I, I know it as Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that's with a bunch of um, uh, scantily. Clad athletes, yep. scantily clad athletes. Bon Jovi is an American rock band formed in 1983, uh, 1983 in Sayreville, New Jersey. Wow. Um, we are in New Jersey. Hey. And we are. Hey. Hey. Forget about it. Uh, I I reached out to somebody that we know uh -huh. that grew up in Sayreville. Oh, okay. Who? Who? Ken Gallagher. The Ken Gallagher. The Ken. The one and only Ken Gallagher. Our CFO and handyman. Sure is. <laughs> Uh, so I asked a friend of the show, a friend of Real Brave, Ken Gallagher, who grew up in Sayreville in the 1970s, if he knew him, and he texted me back, yep, I knew him, went to high school, and he would come into shop right before shows and get hairspray. <laughs> Goes on, Richie Sambora dated my buddy's cuz and then dumped her for Heather Locklear. Whoa. Do you know who Heather Locklear is? Yes, I do. She's smoking fox. Swing. <laughs> Uh, bon Jovi had a couple of crazy girl groupies. I don't know if I should be reading this on the air. Uh, and they were into threesomes. Whoa. And then I think he got VD and What's stopped the messing with them. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is all. Celebrities are just like us. Yeah. 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 yeah sure. <laughs> yeah, um, right. Yeah. Yep. 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 Uh, so here's a story. I'm so tired uh, of getting VD from <laughs> threesomes. Oh man. Uh, here's a story. Bon Jovi used to work at his uncle's recording studio. Bruce Springsteen also goes there. Hears John singing and tells him, "Give it up." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, fair, but also. Uh, right. Yeah. Why not? Uh, now they're singing together. Oh, so that's, whatever. That's, that's fun. And and Bruce Springsteen looks like Woody Allen now. What's I, up with that? I saw that picture. Yeah. What's up with that? There's this picture from a party that Bruce Springsteen was at. I guess it was last year, maybe. And he's wearing like a sweater and a button-up shirt. And he looks just like Woody Allen. Nobody in 80s rock has aged well. Look at Axl Rose. Look no, like, he uh, looks like Throw Mama from the Train Mama, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's another uh, aged joke. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, the band currently consists of John Bon Jovi, keyboardist uh, David Bryan, Tico Torres, Whoa. Uh, guitarist John Shanks, and Phil X, and percussionist Everett, Everett Bradley. But uh, famously, there is Richie Sambora, who is the heartthrob of millions, just like Mr. Bon Bon. Um, but he left the band. I don't know. That so that, that, that thing that you were playing, he, he wrote that. Okay. But let, let's talk about this. Um, did you get to look at any of the stuff that I sent you? Uh, yes. Okay, great. Uh, because if you look, if you look on page uh, two, if you look at the 1992 live and listen to Mr. Jovi singing, mm. he sounds like him. He sounds just like the record. Okay. It's live. It's unplugged. If you, if maybe we'll throw a video up it of it, it here. He looks pretty good. He cut his hair. Mm. You could see his package. Everything is what? status quo. Okay. And, and if you go to post -sur surgery, the link below that. No more package? No bueno, no package. Wow. Yeah. 
I uh, was to go see Paul McCartney a couple years ago at Giant Stadium, mm. and Bon Jovi came out to sing Happy Birthday to him because <clears> it was like the day before his birthday or something like that, carrying some balloons, and um, it sounded like shit. <laughs> that was to say, like he was try- even singing Happy Birthday didn't sound very good. Yeah, uh, no. which is sad. You know, look, I, I I think the guy's music is trash, but I don't want him to have no voice. That's, I that's real I I am dying to get into why he thinks his music is trash. The guy sold more records. Probably twenty nine point nine 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 million records than all of us. Okay, uh, we'll get into that in a second. But here's a quote from an article I was reading, elaborating on the throat surgery and rehabilitation he underwent. Save the singing voice, John said. Everybody's different. It's a unique situation. It's not a nodule. You know what that is? No. So it's an internet term. Sing- singers will if there's a if you're singing wrong, mm. quote unquote. If you don't take care of your voice, quote unquote, mm. you could develop these little nodes, these little growths on your on your vocal cords. Oh, inside, not out. Oh, this, not here. In in your throat. Not here. Yeah, out inside. So you have too much stuff. In your yeah. So, um, but it wasn't that. It was that his cords were uh, atrophying. And you know why that is? I don't tell me. It's because he was singing and smoking through like 30 uh, years. Oh, okay. Well, so was Paul McCartney. And he drinking. didn't stop until like the 90s. And apparently in lots of threesomes. Oh. So it was the VD. Yeah. Okay. I mean, but seriously, like, you know, if you, if you do too much of that <sighs> stuff, it's not necessarily like all the time you're singing, you've got 2,700 shows on your belt. That stuff that he, if you listen to New Jersey, you listen to Swip, Slippery One Wet. And you think like he was away. doing all that stuff like concurrently, like Middle all of a threesome, time. smoking a cigarette and <laughs> singing? Yes. I like having sex with these two women. I love, yeah. I love the motion. You yeah. got it down. Yeah. You've been doing that quite I, often. Yep. That's perfect. Yep. Uh, so the, his vocal cords were atrophying. So, um, quote, it, that was a bitch, he said. So it was theor- theoretically, if both of them were supposed to look the same size, but one was thin- thinner than the other. And that kind of probably sums up why he sounded like that because he was singing like this. Yeah. So he, he had no vocal strength. Right. I, I sing. I'm not really into this stuff. Like, I just think that if you can either sing or you can't sing. But the bottom line is if you've ruined the muscles in your throat through <laughs> smoking... Alcohol and threesomes. Um, but the bottom line <laughs> is that you're going to have problems singing. You're going to sound happy birthday yep. to you. Because you're trying to Pretty stretch good. it out. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, because you can't do it. Yeah. You can't, you have, you're, it's not coming from here. All the muscles are shot. Mm. And, um, you know, there's no more threesomes. So, question about yeah. the uh, title of this document. Yeah. Why is it titled the way that it's titled? <clears throat> I don't know what I titled it. Bon Jovi's voice loses his virgin <laughs> voice virgin. <laughs> bon Jovi loses his voice virginity. I don't know. It sounded good. Okay. All right. At the time. Yeah. Um, I also put in there Jovi deep throated, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so he had he had the surgery, and if you listen to this like post surgery, it still sounds very similar. Like he, it all the depth is gone. There's no there's no like there there. If you if you're into singing. Are you into singing? No, you're not. They're there. Are you? Can you sing, Brian? No. No. I mean, I can I can sing some harmonies and stuff. But I'm not really a singer. No. So when you say you sing harmonies, like you're doing like a third, above, below, what are you doing? Uh, it depends on the song, but I, you know, I, in in the Weezer band I play, and I do the falsetto parts too. Okay. But I, I'm not. I don't feel like I'm very comfortable singing, and I have no confidence. So even if I was halfway decent, which I'm not, I wouldn't have the confidence to do it anyway. Okay. So I think the bottom line is, I mean, from my point of view, and it, I'm sure you've like looked at the videos and listened to him sing. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, <laughs> he he has lost his voice, like oh. it's gone. Okay. Like, but he's hitting notes now, which is better. Okay. So at least he's hitting the notes. Like you, you watch some of the the TikTok videos and Instagram people are people that paid like hundreds of dollars to see him, you know, them perform. He's missing notes. Like he struggled. I feel bad. Like I think he's a good guy. I think he's done a lot of good for the music industry. Um, and, then, a, and then we got to get to Brian because I'm dying. I'm dying. Well, I mean, this might be a good segue because it, uh, it speaks to Bon Jovi's character. Um, I had a girlfriend in South Jersey okay. um, whose mom was a waitress. And was she? Did she live in Sayreville? Uh, it was like Pennsville. She uh, could have been born from a threesome. I mean, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> And my and her mom was a waitress, and she served Bon Jovi, and he acted disgusting toward her oh. and did not tip her. Oh. I, I, I've heard multiple stories of that as well. Yeah. So he's not a good guy. No. 
he's not a good guy. No. But then where am I getting this from? Well, he, he, he very famously opened a restaurant that was like a... Um, I want to say it was it benefited uh, a good charity or it was very affordable. There, there was something there. And, you know, people do good things and can still be, you know, dickheads. Was it Bon Chan Jovi? <laughs> oh, God. Bon Bon Jovi. Bon Bon Jovi. You blew it. No. You blew it. No. Well... Let's let's talk about. All right, so we we've <laughs> you guys have have told me that he's not a good person. Yeah. Um, Brian. Yeah. If he's not a good person, then surely his music is okay. No, it sucks balls. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say that clearer into the microphone? It sucks balls. <laughs> Thank you. No, he, he, here's my Bon Jovi. Team, right? Okay, go ahead. I have nothing against pop music. I have nothing against metal. Nothing against pop metal. What I don't like is when people are smug about how cool slash good looking slash musically talented they are especially when they're not really any of those things right and to say i've seen a million faces and i rock them all when it's your first big album is just the no balls. he had that the, the fahrenheit that fahrenheit was was bigger than that one 451 right isn't that the name of that that was a book wasn't it that was a book yes um Bon Wasn't that on Slippery When Wet, which is like his breakthrough album? No, there was an album, two albums before yeah, that. That was his breakthrough album. I was like, I suppose Runaway was on the first Bon Jovi Fahrenheit. Yeah, seven eight seventy eight hundred degrees Fahrenheit. Sorry, I got it wrong. But that was the, that was Runaway. He's a little runaway. I, 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 oh, I know that song too. Uh, yeah. Friends of mine. There was a guy with the high school named Jamie. Friend of the show. Sing. And they started a band called Bon Jamie. But they played Bon Jamie. <laughs> Jamie said. And it was, it was terrible, but awesome. And they used to open with Runaway. So, <laughs> like, you don't know how to play piano. You can play that. Yeah. That's how easy that is. Yeah. Right, Kevin? No, I, I, I just think that, that um, the songs aren't that good. I mean, like, I think it's like living on a prayer. There's obviously a hook there. Yeah. And I, I can't deny that. But I, if I never hear that song again, great. Yeah, well, you, you work here. You're definitely going to hear it. Yeah. Sorry. Unfortunately for you. <laughs> you know that song, right? Which one? Uh, Living on a Prayer? Uh, yeah. It goes like this. I've been doing that for the past, whoa, whoa. like, three minutes or so. Uh, but what does he use on that? A talk box. What's a talk box, Kevin? It's like a thing that you put in your mouth, and it, like, measures how much space is in your mouth and translate that is into that a MIDI Is that something instrument. you use pre-threesome? Um, post threesome typically, <laughs> uh, but it's also you you can hear it in the, the uh, intro to Sweet Emotion. Yes. Oh, oh, Aerosmith. Yeah, yeah. Also Very some nice. some Peter Frampton. Some a lot of people. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, wah, Peter Frampton. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah. Um, I'd like to get. I want to hear more about what you think about all this in a second. But let's let's talk because I think there's a hilarious little tidbit in here that you guys probably didn't see yet. Um, Jovi began f uh, performing uh, music live in 1975 at, eight at the age of 13. Do we have any pictures of him when he was in high school? I, I already put one up, but I'll put that one up again. Okay. Uh, still in his teens, Jovi played for the band uh, John Bon Jovi and the Wild Ones. Uh, you, you know, he did the, the Jersey thing. Southside Johnny and the Asbury Jukes um, opened up for them. Recorded his first single, Runaway, in his cousin's studio. And who was uh, pr produced a bunch of Ramones records. Hey now, Tommy uh, Bon Jovi. Which so is the, his real last name, bon right? Gio bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. He's Gio Italian. Gio He's Italian. He's, He's a get more on. New Jersey name. And uh, does Billy? Uh, what's her name? Willie? Billy? The girl that's in um, Nelson? No, the girl that's in uh, Holiday. Fuck! I'll find out. The song was played at the local radio station on a compilation tape. Anyway, so he made his first debut. As the lead vocals in, can you guess what it is, Kevin? Is it the uh, s what is Star Wars Christmas? Yes, R two D two. We wish you a Merry Christmas, <laughs> which is part of the Christmas in the Stars album, which yeah. his cousin co-produced. It was a holiday special. Nobody asked for. This is a. It, it's not from the holiday special. Oh, it's not from the holiday no, special. No, it was like a uh, novelty record that was yeah. made. Oh, uh, different than the holiday. Both are terrible. Okay. This it's a dog shit song. Wow. Did you did you listen to this yet? No, I'm gonna. You gotta wow. listen to it. Yeah. It's. It's got C-3PO um, talking to R2-D2 to give, to give him a gift. And just in the spirit of, of what we've been talking about, what could that possibly be? We're going to listen to this really quick, and then we're going to edit it out. R2, where are you? Oh, there you are. Well, if you come over here, you'll find a wonderful surprise. 
<laughs> yeah, he Disney is going to come after us, I think, for this. <laughs> oh! Oh, it, it Hell makes yeah. Me... I love that. No. It's like we are the world. <laughs> it's like we are the world, but <laughs> even worse. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So he comes up soon. This, the innuendo here is it unbelievable. Is, is overpowering. That does sound like him. So, so that's bad. He deserves to have his voice taken away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you like that better than the, the Bon Jovi songs? Yes. Okay, look. Uh, I remember 1980... It was 1986, Slippery When Wet came out. Yes, I'm that old. I was 12, and there, there's a ton of songs on there. I remember being in, you know, sixth, seventh grade, having a crush on a girl, mm -hmm. listening to the song mm -hmm. on a dance floor. R2D2, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Not that song. Oh. <laughs> Boing. <laughs> uh, I remember, speaking of girlfriends, my, one of my high school girlfriends made me a, a, a mixtape of Bon Jovi songs, thinking it was going to be this like, great gift for me. Oh, my God. And it wasn't. So even back then. Oh, so yeah. what turned you off? The songs. They're bad. <laughs> so you were more like, were you listening to like R.E.M. and like you were like uh, uh, it, 90s, like it, Goo Goo Dolls. You're just like, no, man, I love Johnny Goo Goo and the Goo Goo Dolls. I, I did like the Goo Goo Dolls, but no, I, mean, I was just, I was into, I, I was never really a pop metal guy, a hair metal. Like that, that sort of, I'm a little bit too young for that. I was four in 86. Okay. So I'm a little too young for that. But I can go back and appreciate some of it. I just don't think the songs are that good. I don't like his voice. I think Richie Sambora has a much better voice than he does. Like, if you listen to I mean, Living on a Prayer, the high part in that is Richie wow. Sambora. Like that, that's Sambora. Hit that voice better. He sings the better harmonies in Dead or Alive. His like, harmonies are really good. He's a much better singer, much better guitar player. Um, but I just, it's just not my thing. Okay, well, hold on a second. So they made it through grunge. They, they're they one of the only bands besides yeah. Guns N' Roses. So uh, in... Keep the Faith was released in 1994, and I did have that god awful song always. But <laughs> uh, the album these days, 1995, that was like that's when they kind of like drove forward to this like Goo Goo Doll sound. And you didn't like that? No, I don't like any of it. It's all bad. It's but it's very similar to the Goo Goo Dolls. Sure. Sounds like you're saying Google Dolls. The Google Dolls. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the Google Dolls. What are you doing with the Google Dolls? Sorry. Um, I don't know why Arnold got involved here. <laughs> <laughs> don't get me started. <laughs> so, hey, Dan? Yeah. It's not a tumor. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a tumor. No, it's no Sorry. jewels. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, speaking of Richie Sambora, we got an announcement to make. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea what the fuck this guy is. <laughs> Richie Sambora is the, the, the guitarist. Richie... There's a picture. Put him up right now. I, I, he's he's been up a couple of times already. There's one really Bora. bad picture. Of him. Oh it's, my goodness! The first one that comes up. Yeah, is, yeah. That, that, that's John. Sorry. It looks like a Tim and Eric bit. That, that's what I'm using. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, this name should be Jorb Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Some Tim and Eric ass name. Um. So the announcement is he's not coming back. Oh, he's not coming back. We all thought he was going to come back to, to the Bon Jovi. We did. We did. <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> You don't remember all the money we bet on that, Kevin? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> all the parlays we had? Yeah, no. I lost yeah. $30 yesterday. Uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so unfortunately... Did you lose money yesterday? I lost about $30, yeah. Did the Rangers, well, the Rangers blew it? You weren't watching? I turned it off. So I that's couldn't. why... I was so We sleepy. went to overtime. Yeah. You stopped watching. I can't do overtime in hockey. It's too long. Uh, it's No, it's sudden death. It's sudden death in the playoffs. I know, and I was really tired. <sighs> Don't have a father that's trying to slowly kill you and uh, himself at the same time. Uh, right? Right, Brian? <laughs> Check. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well, I'm sorry that the Rangers lost. You should be, because it's know. your fault. Oh. <laughs> Don't tell Chelsea. She might kill me. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> um, she watches this. So. Jesus. I'm sorry, Chelsea. <laughs> Just kidding. Just watch this. So he's not he's not coming back. They haven't talked in a very long time. There is this there is this rumor that they're going to come back. Their songs have been suspect in the for the past twenty years, and I'm not like a huge. In fact, I've never seen them live. 
Bon Jovi ever. Uh, and on another face, they have not rocked the face of Dan Powers. Mm. What? They haven't rocked your face. You haven't been given seen them. Oh all. yeah. They haven't rocked your they face. They haven't rocked my face. Truth. They said they rocked them all, but yeah. they haven't. So a million faces minus minus at least two, three. Mine yeah. I well I they, he never saw my face. He never saw mine either. Oh, you never went to a show. No. Oh. So technically he hasn't seen your face. So it's just really he's just batting nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Yeah. He saw Ken's face. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Right. So yeah. like the, he's seen a million faces, a hundred percent. I wish there were like counters like that you could access. Like how many faces have I seen? <laughs> yeah. How many times have I actually said the f word in front of children? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're on this show. <laughs> um, so yeah, he's not coming back. We thought it was gonna be there was gonna be a comeback album, and apparently it's not happening. I talked to my cousin John, who is a famous screenwriter in Hollywood. Yep, <laughs> he's an up and coming. His movie um, uh, Security is doing really well right now. It got like a, a couple of viral TikToks. It's on the top ten uh, ne- uh, Netflix movies oh, right good now. Good for him. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> he's doing really well. So, um, but he he. <laughs> Texted me a couple things about uh, Bon Jovi. Some rando facts. Would you like to hear them? I would love to hear rando facts. Here's some rando facts. He discovered Skid Row. No. And uh, Dave the Snake Sabo. Who? So, Kevin, uh, Skid Row was a similarly bad band from New Jersey. Sounds like a glam. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. They're a little bit bit less. uh, They're a little bit harder edged than that. Okay. Um,. Yeah. Sebastian Bach was the lead singer. Yeah. Oh, um, that guy from VH1. Yes, he did many VH1 things. Shirtless all the time. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he he also I believe played the Beast in Beauty and the Beast on Broadway. Okay. Or Phantom of the Opera. Is that his actual name? I, I, I can't don't know. imagine. It I can't. Is. I can't yeah. imagine being so full of myself as a musician. <laughs> And to say, like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to take the name of the most influential composer of the 1700s. <laughs> it's me, Bill Mozart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. What the hell? That's really funny. Um, well, he, you know, he, he, um, he was, Sabo was in the early version of the band. Um, John Bon Jovi went into acting for a little bit. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, Star- he was con- uh, Young Guns 2? Yeah. Star but Wars, Star Wars sequels? <laughs> according to John, and I, and I, um, he's my go-to for this stuff, he was considered early on to replace Keanu in Speed 2. Whoa. Okay. And also for The Crow 2. Did you see The Crow 2? I didn't see The Crow 1. <gasps> What's wrong with you? I'm 34. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's a great movie, man. The that's Crow? that's like um, that's up there. Yeah, yeah, who's in it? Brandon Lee, Cheryl Crow, a uh, son of Bruce Lee. Whoa, who was killed while making the film. Jeez, really? Uh, the, the gun that was supposed to have blanks in it. Oh no! It, like, I, I think it had a blank still, but I think it, it projectiled in such a way. That he got uh, what's his name from SNL? <laughs> uh, uh, Baldwin. He got Baldwin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was pre Baldwin. Oh wow, Baldwin. Actually, isn't it the way his father died? So that died I think. I don't think the same way. I think he died also like young and tragically, but I don't think it was. Okay. Also from a I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Uh, the record company wanted to buy um, Desmond Child's credits out of Slippery One Wet. So I didn't know this, but Desmond Child wrote some of the tunes on there, which makes sense because it was so huge. Ooh. Uh, Kevin Desmond Child Kevin. is a songwriter <laughs> from the nineteen eighties who worked with Aerosmith, Bon Jovi, and others. We have a song doctor who would come in and oh, okay, yeah, yeah. things up. Sure. I remember watching the Bon Jovi behind the music uh-huh. in the 90s because that's what we did in the Because you're a glutton for punishment. You love to watch stuff about people you hate. Hosted yeah, by true. Sebastian Bach, Bach probably. Like ten times. Yeah, exactly. Wow. But I remember Bon Jovi saying that he hated the, quote, Michael Jackson beats they put on... Um, Living on a prayer. How you felt like that sounded very like whoa, slick whoa, and whoa, poppy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And uh, what was it supposed to be? Hyper reverberated snare drum. Is yeah, that what exactly. we're talking about? Yeah. yeah, exactly. All that stuff. So uh, that's all well, Desmond Child stuff. Yeah. So the Desmond Child stuff. Uh, they wanted uh, John and Richie to have the writing credit, but John refused, insisted on sharing credit with Desmond, and Desmond still loves him for that, according to John Sullivan. Uh, John had his own re- uh, recording company for a minute called Jambaco. Uh, keep the face. Uh, keep the faith. And Aldo Nova's second album, <laughs> Blood on the Bricks, are the only releases on Jamco. He also dated uh, Diane Lane. Did you know that? Who? <laughs> Jesus, Who are Kevin? these people? Kevin. Uh, Diane Lane was a, uh, an actress <laughs> in the 1990s who was not attractive. Oh, great. Okay. <laughs> Who's not attractive, you said? Who was quite attractive. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I think she was attractive. Yeah. She's, she, and she's graced like, into an older woman. Dead or alive beach volleyball attractive? Is that yeah. It? All right. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, I'm in. <laughs> 
he, I, I don't think that this is going to make any sense to anybody. So I'm not going to say this. None one. of this has made any sense to me. <laughs> All right. Uh, no one knows John has two songs on these amazing early 90s hair metal albums. Um, oh, he didn't. I didn't paste the names of them. All right. Forget it. Uh, <laughs> Bon Jovi made the news when the video for Living in Sin was banned by MTV for sexual content. Kevin, Whoa. what's that? Uh, <laughs> MTV? <laughs> Kevin, MTV was a <laughs> channel in the 80s and 90s that showed music videos predominantly. I don't buy it. And the video was re-edited. MTV put it into heavy rotation. I remember watching Living in Sin and um, being like, what? You know, it was it was different. It was the Madonna stuff of the world. Oh, uh, okay. And it was a little risque, as yeah, they yeah. say. There's like way... We- Way more risque stuff today. Oh, you I think? think? <laughs> 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 yeah. Point so, out the obvious. all right. So we so we've gone through this. We've we've graced the world with this information, and uh, Brian thinks that the the band is shit. Yep. And you don't know anything by them. I could give a shit. About them. Let's let's do since you're so big into them. Let's do a little tutorial. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, here's living on our no. Uh, here's a uh, dead or alive. Wanted dead or alive. Wanted dead or alive. No beach volleyball involved. There's no beach volleyball. No, in no, 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 no. Um, basically, what it is, it's just like a sort of descending alter alternation between a D minor and a C chord, um, with an A minor and a G thrown in toward the end. And on the record, when you hear it, it's on a uh, twelve string acoustic guitar. Um, when you look up the tabs for it, you'll see like a bunch of different takes. Um, the first one you'll see is like this. Uh, so open D and your your fretting uh, notes that are on the G and the E string skipping the B. Uh, so you're at open D, 13 on the G and sorry, 14 on the G and 13 on the E. And then move down to 12 and 12 and then 10 and 10. And then nine and eight, and then five and five, and then seven and seven, and then drop down to D minor. All right, so we put that all together. And you might have noticed that I was leading through all of that with my middle finger on the G, it's not coming off the G. And the way that that works, like my brain is like putting a signal in my brain that says, okay, so this shape means middle and pointer. This shape means middle and ring. And it's really easy for me to track that. Um, There's a lot of songs that kind of follow that same idea. I can't think of any off the top of my head. Um, I I encourage students to do that all the time. Like to just pick a finger with a string. Be consistent with it. Yeah, because it it will make the learning the pattern so much easier. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like so this other alteration if you're trying to get more toward what the record sounds like and you only have a six string guitar you can go way up to uh, 18 and 17 now I'm on the B and the uh, what string is this E thank you Um, and I'm skipping the G right Uh, 17 and sorry 18 and 17 and then 15 17 and 15 15 and 13, 13 and 12, 10 and 8, 12 and 10, and then 6 and 5. Hmm. And you'll see on that one, I'm leading with my index finger, right? Same concept there, consistency. I, I think the first one sounds far more similar to the record. Yeah. Than the second one. I don't know. I, I don't know. you got that relative pitch going on. Because with a twelve-string guitar, you have um, octaves, right? No, not with those strings, you don't. Oh, not with the E. With the G, you do. On um, with the G, you do, and that's where you're hearing that. Right. On this version, so it's you know it's probably accurate to see, but on a twelve-string guitar, what you're really hearing is those are the high pitches that you're hearing, and that's kind of what the brain gravitates to. I don't know. That's the thing, that everybody. Ah, that's the thing, that everybody. 
but it's is it's not major there. No. And it goes major for the um like for the verse. Well, it's neither major nor minor. It's Mojer. Now the verse, yeah. Yeah, we that's major. Do. Oh, the same. I can now sing better than Bon Jovi. Oh, you've reached a milestone, and so have you, viewer. Because now you know more than anybody knows Ever about, to know. <laughs> about John Bon Jovi and his antics in Sayreville, New Jersey. Uh, he can't sing anymore. Richie Vichambor is not coming back. And spoiler, spoiler alert, Kevin doesn't know uh, Wanted Dead or Alive. And Brian hates Bon Jovi. Yep. Uh, anything you want to say about Bon Jovi that we haven't ever already been said? Um, a lot of times their outfits are stupid, too. <laughs> like, from when? All the time. They're, they're like cheesy rock stars. I don't know. I think the guy, the keyboardist guy that can only play two notes, he looks like an idiot. Sorry, dude. He's probably a really nice guy. Is he not? Is, he's probably not a nice guy, right? Who? <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that one of our reels uh, is about fish? Is it really? And it got no views. What? Yeah. Hey, pr- wait, 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 what Shocker. Reel? Is it? Can I find it on our Instagram? Yeah, it's, it's on our Instagram. At I'm real surprised, brave. Surprised that fish didn't reel him in. Oh, <laughs> he blew it. Reel? Fish, fish. Anyone? Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, you, if you're interested, please subscribe, like, and do all sorts of stuff so we can see you again because uh, we want to see you enjoy our stuff here. Um, like us on Real Brave Inc. and all the socials, and uh, maybe we'll see you next week for more of this information. What do you think, Kevin? Mm. Who? <laughs> <laughs> see you next time. Thank you. Did you. What song do you know? Can you do that? Maybe. Nope. Ah. Hey, I'm Kevin. Bring your camera down slightly so I can lose it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you give it? What are you gonna give a tutorial on? I said we're gonna do a tutorial. Oh, on. So you want that right now? I sure do. I think I think this is the, this is how this song goes. <laughs> okay, so let's do the beginning again. Okay. <laughs> what the whole? You want to start over the whole thing? Yeah, I'm not uh, editing all that out. Uh, on, I've got things to do. I think this is great. <laughs> do you want me to stop the recording? And start the recording? Yeah. Something like that? We're gonna do tutorial? Yeah. Alright, fine.